Have you ever watched a rocket launch into space, or cheered as a cheetah sprinted across the savanna? What about that feeling on a roller coaster, your stomach in your throat as you plunge down a steep drop? All of these exhilarating experiences involve motion, and understanding motion is like having a superpower that lets you decode the universe. Whether it's the graceful arc of a basketball through the hoop, or the dizzying spin of a planet in its orbit, motion is everywhere. And the key to unlocking its secrets lies in understanding three fundamental concepts, speed, velocity, and acceleration. These are not just fancy words for scientists in labs, they are tools that can help us describe, measure, and predict the movement of everything around us. So, buckle up and get ready for a thrilling ride as we explore the fascinating world of motion. We are about to embark on a journey that will take us from the racetrack to the far reaches of outer space. Get ready to discover the laws that govern the movement of everything from snails to spaceships. Let's start our motion adventure with the concept of speed. In the simplest terms, speed tells us how fast something is moving. Imagine you're in a car traveling to the beach. If your car covers a distance of 60 miles in one hour, we say its speed is 60 miles per hour. Speed is all about how much distance is covered in a certain amount of time. To calculate speed, we use a simple formula. Speed equals distance divided by time. It's like a magical equation that unlocks the secrets of motion. Think about a snail slowly inching its way across a leaf. Its speed is much lower than a racing car zooming around a track. Why? Because the snail covers a much smaller distance in the same amount of time. Now, imagine you're driving that same car, but this time, you're heading east towards the sunrise. Now, we're not just talking about how fast you're going, but also in what direction. This, my friends, is the realm of velocity. Velocity is like speed with a sense of direction. Velocity is a crucial concept because it gives us a more complete picture of an object's motion. It tells us not only how fast something is moving, but also where it's headed. Two cars can have the same speed, but different velocities if they're moving in opposite directions. Think about two friends on bikes, both pedaling at the same speed. If one friend is heading north and the other south, they have the same speed but different velocities because they are moving in opposite directions. Section 4, Feeling the Force, it's all about acceleration. Hold on tight because now we're diving into the world of acceleration. Acceleration is what happens when an object's velocity changes. This change can be in speed, direction, or both. Think about a roller coaster. As it picks up speed going downhill, it's accelerating. When it slows down to stop, it's also accelerating, but in the opposite direction, which we call deceleration. And when it loops the loop, it changes direction, and yes, that's acceleration too. Acceleration is a bit like the spice of motion, it's what makes roller coasters thrilling, cars zoom off the starting line, and rockets blast off into space. Without acceleration, our universe would be a very different and much less exciting place. Section 5 Speed, Velocity, Acceleration, A Cosmic Comparison Let's take a moment to compare our three motion musketeers, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Speed, how fast an object is moving. Velocity, speed with a direction. Acceleration, the rate of change in velocity. Imagine a spacecraft traveling through the vastness of space. Its speed tells us how quickly it's covering ground in the cosmos. Its velocity tells us both its speed and its direction, whether it's hurtling towards a distant star or orbiting a planet and its acceleration tells us if it's speeding up, slowing down, or changing course. Understanding the differences between these concepts is like having a superpower that helps us unlock the secrets of motion from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy. Section 6. From racetracks to rockets real-world applications. Speed, velocity, and acceleration are not just abstract concepts confined to textbooks. They are at play all around us, in countless real-world applications. Engineers use these concepts to design everything from supersonic jets to high-speed trains. Athletes rely on their understanding of speed, velocity, and acceleration to gain a competitive edge, whether it's a sprinter shaving milliseconds off their time or a gymnast executing a perfect somersault. Even video game designers use these concepts to create realistic simulations of movement and motion, making us feel like we're really racing cars or flying through the air. The next time you play a video game, think about the roll speed, velocity, and acceleration play in making the experience so immersive. Section 7. Keep your eyes peeled. Motion is everywhere. 
As we've journeyed through the world of motion, we've discovered that speed, velocity, and acceleration are not just concepts for the classroom, but fundamental principles that govern the movement of everything around us. The next time you're watching a football game, observe how the players accelerate to catch the ball. Notice how a car's velocity changes as it slows down at a traffic light. Pay attention to the speed of the wind as it rustles through the trees. Motion is everywhere, waiting to be observed and understood. So keep your eyes peeled, your minds curious, and never stop exploring the wonders of the universe. Who knows what amazing discoveries you'll make when you start thinking about the world in terms of speed, velocity, and acceleration.